Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to a special edition of the Retro Gamers. Larry here. And Anthony here. And I have a question before we get started. Sir, yes, sir. Have we been around long enough to have any kind of special editions? <laughs> Listen, you're lucky we're not doing a flashback episode. All right. <laughs> no, that's next week. <laughs> It's a special edition in my eyes because it is, or um, actually at this point with it broadcasting, it was uh, SummerSlam weekend, WWE SummerSlam, and uh, from both of us from Brooklyn, they are doing a huge three shows in a row, well, three shows and a concert in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. And I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> and me and you, you know, we... we Huge wrestling fans, um, and I pro- one of the things that got us to, to be friends back in the beginning, back in the day. Um, in fact, I remember distinctly, it was, I think you had WWF Raw for the Super Nintendo. Oh, wait, is that how I got stuck with you? Well, it was actually the yearbook uh, in co- in high school, but beyond that, <laughs> it was... Uh, you had Raw. I don't know what you're talking about. I was too cool <laughs> to be on the yearbook. <laughs> so, uh, and it was Raw... I remember I went to your house and with a friend of a friend of ours, Danny, uh, went to your house, played the game, uh, went home, got mugged on the way home. Yes, um, I remember that yep, story. So that was fun. And that was the first time I met you and went over your house, actually. So not the first time I met you, but when I went over your house. That's all. Well, that, those were also back in the days when you could walk home. Y- yeah. Yeah. Tell, I had a backpack. And then look of, what happened. I had a backpack full of video games. and Those idiots just wanted whatever dollars I had in my pocket. Thank God they didn't go in my backpack. <laughs> Yes, thank God. And here we are 20-something years later, so... (laughs) Yeah, but I'm still regretting it. (laughs) But um, as much as we enjoyed wrestling, whether it be WWE, uh, WCW, whatever it was, wrestling did have a big impact on video games. And some of the early games, even if they they weren't licensed with a company like WWE or anybody, still some of the best games on the old systems. Very true. I mean, let's go. Let's go all the way back to the first one, Pro Wrestling, one of the original black box cartridges for the Nintendo. Oh God, yeah. I mean, everybody. I mean, everybody who played Nintendo, or at least you know, knew of, if not played, Pro Wrestling. Um, you know, Pro Wrestling is you know the Pro Wrestling game is also synonymous with that famous saying that I'm always saying, <laughs> which is a winner is you. <laughs> there you go. And um, and it was it was it was. Some a things get lost game. in translation. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god, forget about it. It it was a solid game for what it's worth. For for back then, for the for the moves you can do, for the gameplay, for the graphics, for the Nintendo. Oh, yeah. It was the game but, Pro Wrestling rocked. I know. And who didn't want to play as Starman? Not only that, but there is, um, and I know no one listens to this podcast, so I'm sure I'm not gonna get him into trouble. But uh, Pro Wrestling Syndicate, which uh, comes out of New Jersey, mostly Rawway, New Jersey, one of their superstars is Starman. <laughs> oh god and does he have the exact same outfit? full outfit yes <laughs> that is awesome i don't know if and he's still there and sad but... at the same time he was i caught a few shows um with with Starman. there it was pretty he walks out all like you know like straight laced and everything like that like a nintendo character it's so funny <laughs> oh god does he but, does he do the spin kick uh i think he did yeah and then he got his butt kicked and then that was it so <laughs> a winner is not him <laughs> But, um, you know, with this whole SummerSlam weekend upon us, you know, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, they all had some great games. And um, I, what are some of the the games that you remember, some of the wrestling games that you quite enjoyed? Um, and I'm sure, I hate to say, and I'm not, I'm not, yes, everyone knows on my other podcast, more of the same. Um, and you know I'm more into WWE than anybody else. But mm-hmm. WWE was the ones that had most of the games out early on. I think WCW had one game. Yeah, um, and you know what? I'm going to go back a little bit further than um, pro wrestling because if I remember um, uh, correctly, I mean, yes, NES was one of the first ones, but I also remember playing um, the first WWF wrestling game on Commodore 64. Oh, gosh, yes. Which was on, you know, which was on those big floppy disks, Mm -hmm. um, and it was two-sided. And on one side, you had Hulk Hogan versus Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, and on the other side, it was Hulk Hogan versus Paul Orndorff, and that's and that was it. That was literally all it was. And what it, and what what they did was they had very very grainy still images from these two matches that took place on TV in the mid '80s or earlier '80s. Um, and you basically had a list of choices to make on what move you wanted. First off, you picked who you wanted to be, mm-hmm. and then you, uh, if I remember correctly, who didn't want to be Hogan. 
What me? Um, <laughs> I was never. I was never a Hogan know, you, fan. You, I'm you like the savage. only person. I was a Savage fan through and through. Um, <laughs> Not even Paul Landorf. You would pick Paul Landorf. Um, well, see, I'm trying to remember. I, I think, <laughs> I think, no, no, I think you were able to pick the other side. But regardless, the whole point of the yeah. game was you were given options on what move you wanted to do, and then the game would decide, I guess, based on whatever move the computer chose, um, you know, what move would win mm-hmm. based on the two, and then you kept going until somebody won the match. Uh, but it was literally all still images that would pop up. So um, it was really interesting, and it was my first foray into playing a wrestling game that was kind of that felt a little realistic because I was choosing the moves, mm-hmm. which was great. Um, and then, of course, the NES games, which were great. You know, uh, well, uh, pro wrestling really made, you know, to me, made wrestling on NES uh, bearable because the WrestleMania game that originally came out was awful. That was a tough one uh, to play. I mean, it was the only really one out there, but you're right, compared to pro wrestling, well, even though you had the yeah. names, like Hogan, Hein Talk Man, and all them. Yeah, but it was very arcade-like. That was the problem with that game. All, oh, you was, did yeah. was, all you did was punch and kick until the guy fell down, and you pinned him, and that was the end of it. And you had those um, the weird power-ups in the back of the ring. The weird, yep, exactly. I mean, they, they got better with the next game when they came out with WrestleMania Challenge, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where you actually got to lock up and do a move and stuff like that, and then they added, obviously, more modes you know you had single you had tag team you had survivor series yeah three on three um which was kind of cool and then you know to your point the wcw game that was on um it was wcw tag team wrestling if i remember correctly. yeah th- if i i think you're right um at least on the nes yeah yeah but um but by far like i remember that, i mean the games i the game i played most uh at least nes wise for um for wwf had to be that wrestlemania challenge one that and that and pro wrestling yeah, yeah, and I'm really, I wish, that, I kind of, you know, a little bit remember of Remember Muscle? Wish- <laughs> I, yes, I, I know, hold on, I, I remember of the video game, I don't think I've ever played the game, but oh, those dumb little figures, I definitely had a ton of those little pink figures. Oh no, I remember playing the Muscle video game, the rest of it, <laughs> it was so much fun. Did you have, did you collect the figures as well, the little ones? I did collect the figures, I didn't have a whole lot of them, but yeah. I do remember collecting them. And then the belt. But also, once WWF had their own figures, it's like, who needed muscle figures? Yeah, that's that- true, yeah, because they also towered over the muscle figures. Exactly. Uh, something in me kind of wish that Pro Wrestling was part of the mini NES um, because oh, that it's been not fantastic. licensed. Yeah, there's no real guys in it. So, but uh, maybe one day they'll release it on the virtual. Con- it's not even on the virtual console for crying out loud. Yeah. So I have seen it at a couple of um, flea markets. Though, and I keep meaning to buy it just for the sake of buying it. You know, just to have the cart. Um, I think I own it. I think I still have it. Yeah, I, I gotta go through. Uh, when my friend was visiting from New York last week, um, he wanted to see my retro games. So I actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I pulled them out and went through them, and uh, I, I thought I saw pro wrestling in there. I was actually very surprised, and this has nothing to do with this podcast, but I was very surprised to find that my Nightmare on Elm Street NES cartridge is missing. Oh, um, And I need to get that now. Maybe to your dream world. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where it is, but I need, I, need to, I need to buy a new one because the fact that it's not in my collection actually breaks my heart. <laughs> Better go out to that uh, – what was that name of that store out there? Oh, right. Game Dude. Game Dude, yeah. Game Dude. Holy cow, that place is a you warehouse. I buy love it. For it. 60 bucks. <laughs> well, they actually I was when I went there last week, I did see it on the list and I think it was like 35 or 40 oh. bucks. All right, cheaper than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, um I'm anyway. look out for it as well. They got they got the uh please the do. flea markets out here, so. Yeah, you know, yeah, whenever you go flea marketing, please let me know cuz I will gladly send you money for any games that I, I saw buy. that's why it was I mean, I haven't gone this year. The weather's been kind of bad, but I think it was last year. I saw pro wrestling. I think I texted you, and you were like, "Oh, I either you said you had it, or you saw it somewhere near yourself, or something like that." Um, no, actually, I think when I yeah. w- I think when I was in New York, I went to a flea market upstate with my family. Oh, that somebody somebody about, had yeah. NES games, and I remember yeah. buying two games, and I could swear pro wrestling was one of them. So, uh, and I don't know why. Just again, because I have like I own ET. I don't have an Atari, but I have the cart just on display. So next time I. Oh. Uh, if I see it, I'll find it. So I own <laughs> I own two ETs. Um, <laughs> um, but you know the, the thing I didn't like about WrestleMania Challenge was that's where it started with the ring on that quarter turn angle. Oh uh, yeah, it was like a diamond. Uh, yeah, no. it looked it just it was it, weird. It was weird because then you weren't running up and down; you were running northwest, southeast. It was right. very it was kind of confusing. Um, but then Nintendo came out, and then they had King of the Ring. For Nintendo. Yes, that was like one of the very last games to come out on the system because if you remember at that time, I mean, I think Super Nintendo had been out for years by the time King of the Ring came out because King of the Ring came out, I think, in like 90. 
94, 93, 94. Around there, because all, I think it was either that or because it was also Steel Cage Challenge. That was on. Uh, Steel, Steel Cage Challenge came out before King of the Ring. Okay, so King of the Ring was the yeah, last King one. King of the right. Ring was officially the last yeah. one because Nintendo, I don't remember when they stopped making games, but that was by far one of the last Probably, ones. Probably, yeah. I think definitely one of the last. Um, I don't and remember. And I own that. I definitely own that one. Actually, King of the Ring I played. Steel Cage Challenge I didn't play much of. Um well, but, the concept of King of the Ring was just awesome. You had a tournament. Oh, totally. There. No, it, worked. It, it was all The only thing I hate about it was Bret Hart was on the cover. But, well, nowadays. Well, of course that. he was. He won the first King of the Ring. <laughs> He's a two-time King of the Ring, even before it was a pay-per-view. Um, and, then, and then, of course, we switched to Super Nintendo. That's where, really, the games, in my opinion, started picking up speed. And, uh, again, it's more WWE. I don't really remember WCW being on Super Nintendo. Oh, um, you don't remember WCW Super Brawl? Oh no! I, I mean, no, I do now, wow. but I don't remember. Yeah, I had I had that game. That game was great. Did you? I yeah. loved that game. Yeah, because I, I remember, remember like when of you it. I only cho- ever played it when, when you when you were choosing your wrestlers on the screen. They would randomly pop up out of their little squares and oh. do their thing. So like Ric Flair would pop out and woo, and, <laughs> and Sting would do his, and and uh, I and the reason why I remember those is because of all the of all the guys that would do that in that game. Rick Steiner would pop out, and I don't. The, the line they gave him made no sense in the game because he would pop out of his screen and he would go, "It's not my fault." And I'm what? like, "What does that even mean?" I don't get it. I'm pretty sure it was him. It was an early Snitsky uh, gimmick. Mm. That's probably oh God, Super Bowl! I forgot about Super Bowl. Boy, and, okay. And, and, also, don't forget one of my favorites on Super Nintendo, Saturday yes. Night Slam Master. I was going to say, they weren't only WWE wrestling games. Saturday Night Slam Master was one of the non-licensed wrestling games that yep. was by far. Fa- and it was in, it was a spinoff, if you will, of Final Fight because uh, Hagar was in it. Yep, That's right. So. Uh, well, it was a Capcom game, right? Yes. But, yep. And that's why Hagar could be in it. Yeah, well, he was, the, I mean, with him in Final Fight, that he was the mayor of Metro City, who was a former yep. wrestler. And um, and his moves in Final Fight were like a pile driver and stuff like that. So, yep. uh, yeah, Saturday Night Slam. And it has that, there may have been someone else, actually, from Final Fight in Saturday Night Slam Masters. But um, it, 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 had, it definitely had the game, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, look of Final Fight just in a wrestling game. So, uh, but that was one of the, one, probably the... Next to pro wrestling, one of the best non-licensed wrestling games. I will agree with you there. Because, you know, and then you had some sure. bad ones, like, later on, like, on PlayStation, uh, The Simpsons Wrestling, which was not fun at all. <laughs> no. Backyard Wrestling wasn't fun oh, either. Oh, Backyard Wrestling, horrible. Who would do Backyard Wrestling? Uh, um, losers. Honestly. Um, yeah, those loser. games were, were no fun. And neither was watching the DVDs after a while. But um, Raw... I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, before we get, before we get to Raw, um, easily Super WrestleMania, I think they called it. Yeah, Super yeah, WrestleMania this, was yeah. Super fantastic. WrestleMania laid the groundwork for Raw, and that had a really cool Survivor Series mode. I think it was three on three. I don't think it was four on four. It may have been no, it may have been four on four, and you have to cycle through everyone. Now, what was cool about Super WrestleMania, besides the 16-bit graphics, better sound, you had some new, the newer, new age characters for back then, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, um, you know, name others. I remember, and I don't know if I was with you when this happened, but only once in my lifetime, I actually somehow got the Undertaker to choke somebody. <laughs> it was not a move. Do you ever remember this? Um... It was no. not a move that was in the instruction booklet. It was I did it once, and I knew he was choking him because he reared back with his hand and choked the guy. I think the referee like came over to make me break it. I only once. I could never replicate that again, and I've always tried to do it again. I didn't. I guess you weren't with me when that happened. No, I guess not. Mm, uh, hopefully, I wasn't sleeping when it happened. But um, but beyond that, though, Super WrestleMania laid the groundwork for awesome Super Nintendo games. Then you got to Royal Rumble, which eventually led us to Raw. And Raw by far is probably one. Yeah, of the Raw ones. was uh, Raw was by far the best. Well, um, yeah, no, no question about it. Because uh, whether you owned it on Genesis or Super Nintendo, it was just mm-hmm. a great game. And I think it was Royal Rumble was the first one that was both on Super Nintendo and Genesis with mm-hmm. slightly different rosters. Um, the only I'm trying to remember who who was different. I think the Ultimate Warrior, I think, was on Genesis, if I remember. Not on Super Nintendo. 
Or maybe the British Bulldog. Oh. I think the I think you're right. I think the Bulldog was on Genesis only. Yeah, I remember because they had like they did have yeah. a um definitely a different like a different roster. Almost like we're on SmackDown Live nowadays. Different rosters, slightly. Uh and then Raw, the biggest thing was um remember the thirty two X version of Raw <laughs> had the yep. had the character Quang. <laughs> yep, and I and I and I remember in my own folly buying the thirty two X specifically just to try out <laughs> that version with Quang, and boy was that a waste of money. <laughs> Savio Vega, who wanted him, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think the the you know the Super Nintendo, the Genesis version. I don't think I've ever actually really owned a Genesis wrestling game. Even when I had the Genesis, it was mostly yeah. the Super Nintendo that I clung on to. Um, and then, of course, like we talked about a few weeks ago, SmackDown was the whole reason why I bought a PlayStation, the very first WWF SmackDown game. Um, because that really, even to step it up even further into the 3D, CD quality music and stuff like that. And SmackDown was a solid game on the PlayStation. Yeah, SmackDown was definitely a great game. I think it was, um, the SmackDown series was definitely far superior to Raw because like Raw and Attitude, although they were great games on mm-hmm. those systems, yeah. uh, it was that whole, um, it was kind of like that whole arcade thing where you had to do like combinations to get moves to go off. Mm-hmm. And it was just very, it was very clunky yes i remember attitude was a bit clunky um just the way the the game mechanics were um the i i kind of enjoyed more if you remember wrestlemania the arcade game and in your house yeah i didn't Uh, like those that much see though i mean those were those were fantasy goofy fantasy games that were just fun they were really fun in the arcade Uh, i think they transferred well on the playstation not so much the version on Super Nintendo, uh, but the PlayStation versions worked out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, and I remember owning them, and I, to be honest with you, I think I may have owned them on the PC mm. instead of the PlayStation. Um, I just didn't really in- enjoy them very yeah, much. Yeah, they, um, they were like a novelty, really. Yeah. PlayStation for me, though, I think like the big one, I mean, the SmackDown series, of course, but before that, there was um, WCW vs. The World. Yes. And I remember how awesome that game was because there were so many wrestlers in that game. Mm-hmm. And then there were like hidden ones that you can unlock. It was yep. like the first time they ever did something like that. Um, and it was just awesome. Yeah. And that also laid the groundwork for games later on. Probably the best wrestling game of all time. No Mercy on N64. You yes. know, that that's uh, because that was um, well, WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. Yeah. were Probably two, two of the best wrestling games of all time. Uh, what company was that? Jax? No, that wasn't Jax. That was no, uh, that was a uh, UK's. Probably, probably. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, w, because first it was WCW versus the world, then WCW versus NWO. On Revenge. there was one on Revenge was on Super Nintendo, but there was also an NWO. No, no, no. Reven- Revenge. Oh no, Revenge was N sixty four. N sixty four was uh, WCW NWO World Tour. Yes. And then WCW NWO Revenge. That's right. I thought there was an NWO. And then, and then WWE went over to that company. Yes, that's right. And wound up doing WrestleMania two thousand yes. and. And no mercy. No mercy, and I like no. I was there's something about No Mercy I like better than WrestleMania 2000. But those two games on N64 were probably the best, in my opinion, the best games, wrestling games ever on any system. Yeah, there's no. I mean, hands down. I mean, I st- I, I think almost every wrestling fan looks back on those fondly as like the mm-hmm. best ones ever. They never, they never seem to be able to top those. Yeah, no, They're, no, not yet. They tried to on GameCube. They tried to replicate the gameplay a little bit with. WrestleMania um, 18, 19, those? Actually, more Day of Reckoning. Oh, Day of Reckoning, Day of yes. Reckoning, yeah. Um, didn't quite pan out as as good, but still. Um, and then going back to PlayStation, uh, WCW, then they started doing, like, WCW Nitro wasn't too bad. I enjoyed Nitro <laughs> on PlayStation. Then they started getting wacky with, like, Mayhem and Backstage Assault, which had no ring. It was just all backstage brawls. Yeah, that game wasn't that good. And that was leading towards the end of WCW anyway in 2001, so... But, Very true. Um, but what was cool about Mayhem, and did they do... No, it was either Nitro or Mayhem. When there was a WCW pay-per-view, you can actually put in a code in the game to replicate the pay-per-view card. And it would just pull right up. Really? Yeah. It didn't last really? long, but... Wow. Um, yeah, you know, like, like Halloween Havoc, and if you put in the code, whatever the card was for Halloween Havoc on TV would be the card you can play on the system. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, it was pretty cool. It was, you know, a different... Something different, so. Um, but then, yeah, then WCW died out, and then, but Nintendo, Nintendo, uh, WWE, 
kept going bigger and better and then of course moving on to the games we have today which now you can scan your face in and put in your own music and stuff like that but let's not forget uh wrestlemania 2000 was so customizable that you ended up customizing the entrance of the video game Uh, yeah, that's right. Because if you change the way that superstars looked, it <laughs> translated into the uh, yeah the opening of the game, which was awesome. Um, but that that was also back in back in the day when um, the wrestling games started to have like openings. You know what I mean? Like now, when you buy today, when you buy a wrestling game, it just it goes straight to the start screen yeah. and you move in and all that stuff. Um, now, yeah, back then it was really cool to see like the open with the music and like you know just montage of stuff going on. Oh yeah, they just pretty much were fun. replicating you know what yep. the show opening almost was. And if I can, if I may, um, uh, steer off a little bit from home consoles. I mean, WrestleFest. WrestleFest is by far one of my most favorite wrestling games of all time. Period. Definitely. And um, what was the other one? WrestleMania Challenge. No. Um, there was, was the one before Challenge? that, but, or was it just Superstars? Superstars. I think it was Superstars, yeah. Superstars. I mean, I remember more WrestleFest, and yeah. those two arcade, I p- would pay so much money for those, well, for the arcade games, but for them to come out on a, on, on a home console somehow, because those were so much fun. You had the one where the tag team tournament and Legion of Doom was the last tag team you had to take on, um, mm-hmm. and then just the, the, the sprites were just so bright, and oh, it was... WrestleMania, Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania, WrestleFest. There was an arcade by me around the corner from my house. It's now a, a, a two-family home, but it used to be an arcade. And the only reason why I went there was was WrestleFest. I mean, it was the only place that I knew of that was around us before you ended up getting before we got fun time. Um, oh yeah. Um, d- wait, where was that place? Literally, it was right on the corner, right before you turn on to the avenue to get to my to get to my block. Yeah, right on Garrison Avenue. It was right near, right near the end there. Someone just built a home. It, it literally just was a gutted home that they turned into an arcade place. It lasted for like a year. Oh wow! I remember um, uh, where I, where I played WrestleFest was at. Um, there was a pizzeria. Uh, I think it was on at, right on Avenue U. I think a block off of Nostrand. I think it was oh. on like Haring Street or Brown Street, and they had WrestleFest. Okay. so I would walk. I had walked the very long three blocks <laughs> to uh, go down there and play it. What about remember uh, Buddies? Oh God, yeah. I think that had Buddies. There as well. Jeez, with the burger Did it? next to it. Yeah. The only one, the the only one I remember is the one on Avenue. Oh, good. In two so, seconds. <laughs> um, well, apparently somebody doesn't know how to oh, silence yeah. their cell phone. <laughs> it was my it was my um, landline. I'm like the last person with a landline. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a great story, Grandpa. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean just. Uh, I mean, wrestling games are constantly. I don't think I've ever gotten rid of any of my wrestling games, or if I did, I've purchased them. I bought exactly. them back really, really quickly. Exactly. So um, I have so many of them in my collections. They just they they, they were fun, uh, and then you know ECW had a couple there, which just basically was almost like mirror images of the WWE versions of Attitude and Raw. Um, well, yeah, because they went they went with I think that was claim. a claim. Yeah, it was a claim. Yeah. And they, yeah, and they and they went with them, and they basically just reskinned those and yep. made them ECW, which and was a good play at the time for yeah. them because that was the that was the company that didn't have a wrestling license, but at the same time, you know, superior games came out, so nobody really wanted to go backwards. Yeah, and, and ECW, you're right, started picking up steam, and uh, I think it was Anarchy Rules. I think it was the first one. Um, and then I think it was November to Remember or Hardcore Heaven was the next one after that. No, but, I thought it was um, – wasn't like ECW Revolution or something? Like oh, that? yeah, Extreme Revolution. That's right, yes. Extreme Revolution. Yes, and then, then Anarchy um, Rules. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and that, they were cool because, they you know, ECW, they were, you know, hardcore wrestling. And that was the first game – well, one of the first games to introduce the barbed wire matches and flaming tables and stuff. And, you know, back then on a game, video game, like, whoa, this is pretty wild stuff. Yep. So, um, and then of course, remember the import that we played for a while, uh, Fire Pro Wrestling. Fire Pro Wrestling G, loved that game. Um, I don't think you would ever see um, uh, you would see a collection of superstars, even though they weren't named. You know, they weren't <laughs> named WWF or WCW, but they recreated them really, oh, really they well. Sure did. And they were the, yep, and they were the first game to really introduce like the whole aspect of like 
pacing and timing and breathing mm -hmm. when you're in a game. Like you actually get fatigued for doing moves too quickly, like back to back to back to back, which which was really interesting. It really made it really made the matches feel so much more real when you were playing them. No, totally. And I know that they re they released Fire Pro Wrestling eventually on uh, PlayStation 2, but the original import that we got was probably one of the first imports. Did you probably one of the first imports that you got for the PlayStation? Cuz that was an important uh, game. it was it was the it was one of the first wrestling imports I got. I mean, okay. I only I, I had I only had a handful of imports, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was I think the first one I bought cuz I remember I was working I was working at a video store at the time. <laughs> um, and I had ordered it through them. Ah. There you go. <laughs> to get it, yeah. Because I, I didn't know, I didn't know how else to get it because the the magic of the internet was still, you know, uh, in its youth. Oh yeah, totally, totally. Al Gore so there wasn't really a whole yet. lot of shopping yet no, invented. Not much. But uh, yeah, you know, wrestling games as much as game systems, I think will be around. They they do stand the test of time. A lot of them, and with this weekend that we had, you know, with NXT, with SummerSlam, you know, Raw happening tonight. If you're downloading this show right now, um, you know, I think it's. Wrestling definitely has those games have a place. I think in, even if you're not a wrestling fan nowadays, you've played one of these games, and I'm sure you've owned a wrestling game at some point. So I think everyone can kind of come together on those. Yes, no so, question. And with that, I think we're going to uh, start to end this special edition uh, of the Retro Gamer, at least with wrestling. And, yeah, um, remind, me, remind me before we end this, though. Um, uh, how many wrestling games were on the Virtual Boy? <laughs> And with that being said, we're going to start to wrap this up. There would have been. There would. There was a boxing game, actually. Yeah, yeah there, there would have been if, uh, if anybody bought the damn thing. <laughs> with that, follow us on our Facebook page, Retro, Gamer Pod, Retro Gamers Podcast. More 365 for me on uh, Twitter. Matsusu28 on Twitter for Anthony. And with that, everyone, have a good one. Catch you guys later. Good night, guys.